Hello everyone. Welcome back to our channel, Canada Immigration. We hope you're doing great. Well, in this episode, we'll discuss Canada to welcome 200000 work permit holders. So, to get all the information, pay attention, and watch the video through to the end please hit, like, and subscribe, and don't forget to push the notification bell for upcoming episodes. So, without any further delay, let's jump into the video. Canada announced a new immigration regulation that will take effect in January 2023. Spouses and kids of visa holders are allowed to work in Canada with a temporary open work permit that lasts for two years. It is legal for workers in a variety of professions, including healthcare, business, hospitality, etc., regardless of their skill level more than 200000 international employees can now find jobs in Canada thanks to the new law. Canada hopes to reduce the labor shortfall with this move the primary visa applicants' family members are also eligible for work, visas only the primary applicants' wives could work in Canada in the past. The new immigration policy also permits children who are of working age to travel with their primary applicant on a work permit, according to Canada's Minister of Immigration. We are making an announcement today that will make it easier for employers to locate workers and for families to remain together while they are here by acknowledging that someone who works here and contributes to our economy deserves to be with their family while they do so," he continued. What is an open work permit? The open work permit for Canada does not have any job-specific restrictions. You are eligible to apply for a work visa without the following requirements because it is not connected to any particular job. 1A Labour Market Impact Assessment that has been approved by Employment and Social Development Canada. 2. Evidence that an employer has used the employer portal to post an offer of employment and paid the compliance cost. Families can stay together and work in Canada according to the new immigration policy additionally. It aids employers in locating qualified personnel in areas where there is a labor shortage. The new immigration regulations are expected to result in the spouses of people with valid work visas applying for more than 100,000 new work permits. According to the IRCC, the three phases of the temporary immigration rules implementation will begin the following year. What three phases are there? Phase 1, under the temporary foreign worker program's high wage stream, this phase enables family members of visa holders to apply for a work permit. Another choice is to submit an application for an open work permit within the same phase of the international mobility program. Phase 2, under the temporary foreign worker program. This phase enables family members of visa holders from the low-wage stream to enter. Phase 3, stakeholders and the agricultural partner, will be able to assess the operational viability during this phase. A few steps must be followed in order for eligible family, members of agricultural laborers to work in Canada. Canada issued over 645,000 work permits between January and October the nation has given nearly four times more than it did at the same time last year, when it only gave 163,000. The severe labor shortage in Canada is the cause of the quickly rising immigration rate according to the most recent estimate on open positions. There were 958,500 openings in August and about 1 million people were unemployed. On the other side, by 2023 and 2024, the country of North America hopes to welcome 465,000 and 485,000. It has a significant immigration target of 4% and 7.5% in the corresponding years. By 2025, Canada will accept 5,000 new immigrants. Canada is experiencing a severe labor shortage there are hence 1 million open positions accordingly. The Canadian government will accept 485,000 immigrants in 2024 and 500,000 by 2025. Additionally, the goal of the revised immigration levels plan for 2023, 2025 is to welcome 465,000 new immigrants by 2023. That is all we have for today, in this episode. What are your thoughts on this? Please let us know, in the comments section below. Thanks for watching the entire episode. Hopefully, the information is useful to you. See you later, in the next episode. Till then, take care.